How did you guys <laughs> feel about um, how Jim Jones presented his diss? Oh, I think... Okay, actually... I I saw a lot in the comments that people were like, see, he's doing it in front of the bodega and then mm-hmm. Pusha T is in um, Paris with mm-hmm. LV. It's, it's different classes to this, whatever. But I felt that that wasn't really a valid critique because like, why does that matter? matter? I was so disappointed. Because I feel like when you bring that up, <laughs> it's giving classist, not going to lie. Mm-hmm. Because why is being at a fashion show in Paris and LV way more impressive, like automatically way more impressive based yeah. on who? Yeah. Let me tell you something. Can we first and foremost like big up a black platform from the block? Yep. You you that got like a big look. <laughs> you niggas love these brands, boy. I like them too, but y'all be dragging it. Oh, and y'all show y'all ass every time <laughs> some shit happens. Yeah. Y'all did not one time big up the black platform that Jim Jones decided to go to. You feel me? Y'all talking about some, oh, he was on the street. Yeah. Oh, he looked like a bum. Oh, he was like, fam. <laughs> if anything was closer to hip hop. Yeah, it was that. I think it was what <laughs> how yeah. Jim served it. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Not for nothing. And then another thing that got me tight was, oh my God, like Bernard Arnault, who is like LVMH, like president head. Oh my God, Bernard Arnault. Pusha T presented the stu- <laughs> the the verse right next to Bernard Arnault, and he was sitting next to Jay Z. You dick suckers, <laughs> you fucking dick suckers. He don't know y'all. He don't even know what's going on. Yeah. You feel me? So, just some points that you know I wanted to make very early on. Yeah. And now to your point, uh, Savon about um, you know we went viral about Arby's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say that. My boy Jim was saying <laughs> shit like the only beef you know, nigga, is Arby's or the Big Mac. Yep. Okay, and, and say say the say the Kanye I'm one. Not and say the Kanye one. The Kanye one is my favorite one. P. I'm so glad you brought that up because I'm so surprised by you, Savon. He said, "Yo, Kanye gave you wits, but that's what they do to the slaves." So if we really want to keep it a buck ball for ball, who got grittier? Who got mm-hmm. in the mud? Who was really sending direct shots? Mm-hmm. I got to give round one to Jimmy. That's, that's for sure. Same. I'm sorry. See, pushes was <laughs> pushes. <laughs> Pushers was so clean. Yeah. Pushers oh was, he didn't say nothing. Tell me, I told you this last week, Savon. Give me one bar. And oh my God. Oh no. I, hold on, Pierre. Yeah. The spirit of repossession. Is, oh, y'all was loving that one all week on Twitter. I got something for y'all. Stupid. He went and got a new house after that. Yeah. I want you, like, but, 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 but uh, and again, it, it, like, you really, oh, and, but it's a week. Because I didn't, bro, I didn't come here on this energy, bro. I didn't, I didn't come I did it. But now nah, you you doing a lot. You want mad sauce on push right now. Like, and I'm just I'm just here like an Arby sandwich. I'm just eating it. I'm like, wait, <laughs> damn, nigga. Like you are going crazy. Did you know Jim Jones had a house that was repossessed? I did. Now, now did, what? Did the public know? Everybody. Was, was did. that a general thing? When you look at Jim Jones, did you think, damn, house repossession? He went up to uh, Hot 97 with Funk Flex and cried. <laughs> Do we forget? <laughs> and cried. And it went vi- yeah. Yo, he became a meme. Yeah. He literally cried with Funk Flex. Yeah. And I hope it's, I think it was Funk Flex, right? I believe so. Yeah. I believe so. And was literally like, yeah, man. He was giving it up about how hard his life has been mm-hmm. and about a lot of the shit he had to do, like yeah. buying back for his wife even though he ain't have it none of that Sa- shit was like Sa- cutting Savon, edge <laughs> he, he, giving, I, I, he giving push her props because he does his homework okay but so that's not just enough pierre though. said that you give push his props because he does his homework and i'm so glad you brought that up because you're right it's not enough i don't give a fuck if you got a death file on everybody about this this and that let's go to drake and push real quick right <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. push her won that because he revealed that drake was a father let's keep it a buck that was Let's one. Keep it no, that was a major reason. It was the reason. But there, there was. <laughs> Let's keep want, it a buck. We, if you want, we could do a breakdown on that too. It was more than that. It was I hurt you. I affected you. Save on. Save on. <laughs> yes. What was the one thing that we? You're all... hiding the child. <laughs> So Absolutely. And, the, I don't, and the blackface picture. So I don't see. I, but I came in last week and told you I thought you know he was going to be ended off that. You're hiding a child, Savon, does not scream lyricism. Yeah. <laughs> so for all but, y'all, but, 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 but why? Yeah. You keep keeping it like, bro, when bro, people what? have these no, whatever right. nuance, these battles, there's nuances to it. It's like attributes in fucking 2K. So presentation <laughs> does matter to me. What do you, like, your la- knowledge, doing your homework, your research, it does matter. Like, if we go back to Ether it Takeover, right? It matters. When Hove and Jay, they was talking about things only they knew each about. It's true. 
that contributes to the beef. It's not just the lyrics. And if we're talking about lyrics, Pusha T's lyric, like, it, it wasn't far off. What? I think Jim Jones was a lot more direct. <laughs> uh, if you want to call it hip hop, sure. If you want to call it hip hop. No, Jim I'm just what? saying, like, I, no. Obviously, it's fucking hip hop. <laughs> but you trying to say, oh, his his beef was more hip hop because he said his name and because he said this and he was more direct. When he I was. think, I think some of the best art because hip hop is still an art form. The best art is packaging. And Pusha T, his delivery was amazing, bro. Me putting out a diss record yeah, with Hove yeah. just nodding his head. Like yeah. again, I don't. I, the optics of it, it matters. Presentation, it matters. But delivery, that's not what they told me. That, delivery matters. The same reason that I gave Jim Jones credit for getting that beat, right? I gave. I'm like, yo, you get a point for that because a lot of people didn't pay attention. The fact that he was able to get that that beat, a song that's not out, and, and still rap over it. I you get what I'm saying? I'll like, give you a I'm giving that. him a point for that. That had nothing to do with lyricism, but it plays a factor in the battle. It so I think does. it's more than just the lyrics or what was said or what wasn't said. I think the packaging of it it plays a part in it. And and when Jim Jones was doing his phone calls on the Joe Budden podcast, he revealed a lot. And one of the things he said is, yo, I don't make this go left. Don't make this go left, right? His default is always, we could take it there. We could take it there. We know Jim. He's not backing down from he nothing. He also said on no street shit. I don't want to miss Of that. course. Yep, okay. yep, yep. He, he said both. Two things can be true. Sure. But what I'm saying is like, it, if we're talking music, if we're talking art, I think all of it is encompassing. If we're talking music, if we're talking art, um, I agree with you. What they said in our YouTube comments this week, what the discourse I've seen on Twitter was, this is a rap battle, let's keep it rap. All right, all right. So if we want to keep it rap, going off the lyrics and the verses off of round one, Jim got it. Yeah. He called your brother a crackhead okay. and then ad lib two for fives. No, don't say okay because no, no, that's, no. That's a, but let me tell you, low hanging no, fruit. Why are you accepting low hanging fruit, why you, why why you can I, can I low hanging can I fruit as ly lyricism? Can I finish? Because it's a family member. And when you called out one of Drake's family members, what you not, sat here not, and told me in this chair, it don't it matter. Was, you didn't sit here and tell me it was low-hanging no fruit. It wasn't his family member. What do you, what do you mean it wasn't his family? His son? <laughs> Drake's son is not family? his family. How much more family could you be? What are we talking the about The reason here? that the Drake reveal <laughs> was so big is because it was that, a reveal. We didn't know that the biggest rapper in the world had a child. I understand that what you're is saying. something that means you did your homework. You knew the assignment. That's why it's not about it being a family member. It's the fact that yo, nobody knows you're promoting the album. You got a new merch line coming out. You, you're supposed to be the most transparent nigga in your music. We love you. This and that, and you have a kid, and nobody knew. And I revealed that a nigga. I, I told you, leave me alone. Don't fuck with me. I revealed that. That's what it's not about. That's being his family. When it comes to so, Jim Jones saying like, "Oh, you look so like we a saying crackhead. the same thing." So you, we're basically saying that. The, I got. I, I so, know what I'm saying. so we're basically. So you're basically saying that the Trump card was his revelation and not quote unquote his bars, right? That's it, basically it, it, what you're saying. No, not. I think that's basically what you're saying to me trying, because you're trying well, to box on. in my arguments. But let me, you ain't let me finish the, any of my arguments. Thank you. <laughs> so. You brought up the whole low hanging fruit thing mm -hmm. about his brother. You yep. did that, not me. I'm addressing that point. Everything mm -hmm. else you said, nigga, I agree with that okay. shit. Okay, cool. So for round one, if we're talking about the us, the um what rap is supposed to be, being disrespectful, being cutthroat, isn't this all this shit? Uh, Push was saying after he talked about what's the name's family. See, he literally said, "Yo, you talked about my wife." Uh, talk, like, bro. So now you. Jim did the same shit. We're pushing. Y'all niggas is telling me pushing subliminals. Is tougher than him calling a nigga a crackhead? Think, no, it, value, it, no, it, no, it's not. I think it matters on like what you value because if you value like the direct shots, then of course Jim's better. But if you value the subliminals, doing the doing the deep dives and like doing the like the everything else and doing your homework and all that, then they think that. In the rap battle, who do you think should win, subliminals or directs? But it's directs. not. It's just like what about <laughs> about what you Definitely value? Directs. I feel like. And this I don't is agree the thing: the, it's not subliminal. It's, a rap but it's not subliminal because everybody knew who it was about when it came out. Everybody it's knew not who it was subliminal. about, but you ain't just, say it. Just because I didn't sit there and say your name a million times, like you said my name in a million interviews, I don't need to say your name to let people know I'm talking about you. You know I'm talking about you. Everybody knows I'm talking about you. So it's not subliminal. It wasn't just a bar. It wasn't just a line. It was a whole 16. It was a whole verse. It was nothing subliminal about it. It just was packaged in a different way. Like Reggie said, I think maybe I appreciate that approach right, a little bit more than let's, you. Let's, but let's just, take another. Oh, my um, let me go back to the crackhead bar, right? You called. He ad libbed two for fives. And that's dope. 
and may and maybe you highlight and value ad libs more than I appreciate creativity. Because, that's creativity though. But <laughs> yeah, it is. It is that's creativity. Yes. Yes. Giving out two for fives after talking about crackhead. Yes. Anybody who's been if in that. You are a rapper, bro. That's slicing shit. But keep going. <laughs> Keep going. We, we talking about so Malice, uh -huh. Pusha T's brother. Mm -hmm. They say he said he looked like a crackhead. In my opinion, maybe he doesn't look the healthiest. We've seen artists, actors, entertainers be in the spotlight and not look the healthiest or weight loss, whatever. They can. We don't know, right? So we have no idea what's up with Malice and his appearance. But Jim Jones said he looks like a crackhead, right? Very easy, direct. You know what a crackhead looks like. Straight to the point. I value me. This is just me. There was a bar about 40 and his diss where he said, tick, 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 your nigga looks sick, sick, sick. Whatever that bar is, the creativity is, he could have easily said, yo, he looks like a crackhead. He could have easily said, your man looks like he's dying. He could have easily oh, said it, semantics. but it, it's not semantics. I'm letting, I'm giving you an example. It's I'm a one-off. It's, yo, we're talking about two people who may not look the greatest from a physical standpoint and how they both packaged it. Mm -hmm. I value that because he didn't have to say, your man 40's dying off a of sick life. But you know what, though? It was the, Can this, I agree with the you? approach. Can I agree with you? Okay, so... He did that with Drake. That's my whole point. So sure. the fact that Jim did it to push, you don't think you should give Jim that point for bringing that type of... Granted, he didn't do it how Push did it to Drake, mm -hmm. but you don't think you should give Jim that point for it to, for bringing it here? You don't I, think I, he gets no, that point? I'll give him a point for that. Thank you. I'll give him, I'll give him a point for because personalizing add, it. Okay, thank now, you. Because now it's, it's personalized in, in that sense, right? Thank you. So thank you. I, I'll give him that thank point. You. But again, like I said, I, I appreciate the creativity behind the packaging from what Pusha T said. Reggie, let's talk about another ball. You're chasing a feature that's out your element. That's not super like lyrical miracle. I know Drake has a song called, no, he has a song called Elevate, right? Yeah. Elevate, yeah. I don't think he has a song called Element. Yeah, Elevate. Mm -hmm. Can I just make this quick, like, uh, aha moment? Who the fuck doesn't want a Drake feature? Yeah. So again, okay, that and he's the minority on that, nigga. You go rap with he your co homies. Go rap with, rap with your old co homies and uh, Pharrell and them niggas. Who cares? Everybody else, they want a Drake feature. So again, how, but hold on. But I how, think he's talking about, like, the way he's going about it. Nah, I Thank feel you. it. No, that, I, and I that's know, the creativity I know, behind I know, it. I know. And there's a lot of niggas who don't want a Drake feature or don't need a like, Drake feature. Like, if you just said, if you were dissing, like, I'm, Big Sean and then you, you said this, like, oh, you're chasing a feature out of your element, it just, it's just like, okay. I'm talking you want about. A Drake feature. But this, in the context of Jim Jones, that that matters more. I feel like I'm talking about who hurt who more. That's true. <laughs> that's that's what that is what rap battle is about, bro. This is if, if all the if you realize all the points I'm making today, I'm talking about what struck harder. You feel I me? Mean? We all know Push is talented and he's super surgical, bro. The nigga said you're chasing a feature that's out your element. Fam, you could very well say that about anyone that wants a Drake feature. So again, how crazy was that bar for real, man? Yo, the Nick, bro. Do I we think really gotta I gotta go through Jim again, shit, bro. Uh, it, and I see what I'm you're just, saying. I, I like, get what you're on, saying. Bro. From what when I hear somebody say you're chasing a feature out of your element, I hear you're not worthy. I hear he doesn't think you're worthy. He being Drake doesn't think you're worthy for a feature. That's fair. You get what I'm saying? I, I don't just hear, of course, it would help every artist in the world the probably if they had a Drake feature. <laughs> but I don't hear it as that. For him to even acknowledge it, he don't fuck with Drake. So in a way, he's complimenting Drake. Like, you're chasing a feature that's out of your element. A nigga who's so far up here that I don't fuck with, you're chasing that. He doesn't even value you enough to give you that. You're chasing something that you you can't get. That's how I hear it. That's how I see it. And also like man to man. But like you, why are you chasing you, the... It, and like some people may think that was more disrespectful and some people may not. Be like, who the, who the you, hell cares? You want to know what I don't like? I'm going to keep it 100 with you, right? And this is not you, Savon. Mm -hmm. This is more the internet. Let's do it. We should be treating hip hop like a sport. Let me break this more down, mm -hmm. right? We have players like LeBron James, mm -hmm. Kawhi Leonard's, just your legends, you know what I'm saying? That epitomize what an overall best player type vibe is, right? Your Steph Curry's of the world, right? Mm -hmm. Like we've always had that in sports, right? Mm -hmm. So why can't we do that when it comes to rap? It's like we pick and choose when we can give somebody the credit, when we all play in the same sport, right? So a Jim Jones, he might not be a sharpshooter. Maybe he's a defender like, I'm sorry for all the women, shout out to the women that do know about basketball. Maybe he's a defender like a Marcus Smart. Mm -hmm. But we love Marcus Smart and what he brings. And we need him. And we need him. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Only in, only in hip hop is when we start like playing semantics and picking and choosing. And we can literally do the same for Push. We can literally call Push just a sharpshooter that stays in the corner. Mm -hmm. Why can't we just all look view it that way? More like, okay, 
yo, this is this person's strengths. This mm-hmm. is this person's strengths. It's all a sport, mm-hmm. and they're just throwing shit at each other. Yeah, but that that point, that analogy will make both of you guys like right. Mm. What but you, you guys can't, are saying, you can't have like two. that will be like, oh, we're just focusing on like him, like the fashion show packaging and all that, and then you like the direct bars, and you mm-hmm. guys are highlighting that, mm-hmm. which makes. Yeah, which is like supporting both of you guys. And I kind of wanted to bring that up to support both of us. I ain't going to lie to you yeah. because that was the internet discourse I was seeing. Again, oh, this, you did yeah, say that. Sorry, remember, you yeah, did say this, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this really had nothing to do with Savon, mm-hmm. but I just saw so much disrespect. And then you know what got me more tight, y'all? They act, these are the same people that have been calling Jay, um, uh, Jim Jones the best rapper post Dipset. These are the same people that I every mean, time he And, and you don't like when people switch up. Yeah, like, I don't yeah, like that shit. I'm now not, y'all niggas is, oh, he's trash. He's trash. Like, yo, y'all, 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 I'm, y'all don't I'm, like hip hop. Say y'all don't like hip hop. Say y'all like what y'all like. I'd rather y'all say y'all like what y'all like. Don't say y'all like hip hop. But with that, point, with that point about Dipset, like, none of them are the strongest lyricists. I know. Like, Cam, but, Cam but, faded, like, but he, he had a time. No, you're right. But Jim wasn't the lyricist at all in the group. So he for y'all to, right? So for y'all to say that he has been the boat, the best post Dipset. Yeah. Come on, y'all! For y'all to just switch up and say, "Oh no, nah, he's," I can't believe how many I'm trash. Oh, and then, and then be, turn around Yo, and be like, "Oh, he's not even lyrical." That like, shit you, is crazy. Yeah, okay, but again, I, I think that shit is crazy. I, I, that shit is crazy. Last week I said it, and I gotta bring this back again. I think it's a regionally based conversation when it comes to Jim Jones, more so than it comes to Pusha T. I think his battle, however you feel about the battle with Drake, it put Pusha T in a in a, a larger light. For more people to be aware of who he is, <laughs> yeah, oh, like it that's does. Why, that's it why I'd be excited for y'all push fans. Yo. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> it only be lit for them when he get in the beef. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. not true because he's selling yeah. out. He's yeah. on tour. He sold out a tour overseas. I don't what hear y'all about? push a T fans but talk about he, him. But you don't oh, gotta hear too. it for it to be successful. Right yo, yo, P. If a tree falls in a y'all fucking so, forest and yo, you don't hear it, did it not fall? But that's a, but the that, niggas still moving units. But if the tree, but if the other trees around them could talk, I hope they would say something. I'm talking to y'all. I'm talking to y'all fans that don't be. Talking about Pusha T all throughout the year. That's not and, true. That's mad true. You know I, me. I feel like can't it's you say it about true. Jim Jones too? You nah. nobody talks about Jim Jones music. I feel like you could say that for like Jim. We Jones. don't talk what? about his music ever. Yes, we do. These are the same niggas that just said he was the best, and that's not an East Coast yes, regional thing, bro. Yes, we, it is. No, so it's not. East Coast, no, bro. it's not. It is so. No, it's not. A New I'm York. Not Jim Jones here. is a New York staple, and I will give him that. That's cool. Outside of I, New York, bro. And 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 I, I don't mean this disrespectfully. I'm talking about from a, a fan, casual people, whatever. He's not moving the needle, and maybe Push isn't either, right? I don't know. That's all maybe I'm he's saying. Not. Y'all niggas turn this nigga in a hole I'm every time he get into that. a beef. I'm, I hate I'm y'all. I hate y'all pushing T fans. Oh, y'all yeah. he y'all yeah. turn him into a hole because like he got three holes. Yeah, like the second coming of Jesus. Like, what he did was pretty that remarkable, shit, though. That's like, what I'm saying. What was pretty remarkable? The entire di- situation the Drake? with Drake. I think no. that was like. All right, let's get into that real quick, Reggie. Oh, <laughs> Reggie, God, bro. Wanna know why I feel like this is so different for Push? Okay. Hey, yo, Jim wasn't on Degrassi. <laughs> he wasn't the actor turn. No, he was really doing whatever the fuck he said he was doing. Yeah, he was so that. yes, we know that Drake got all the hits. We know Drake is like Teflon. We know he's the goat of the generation. We know all of mm-hmm. that shit, but. My nigga, when it got down to it, like again having to take out the files, mm-hmm. the files look a little different. Now let me go on. Let me let me talk to Push real quick. I already know what you' about to do because you did say you know where he delicate at. So here's some things, Jim should look out for. And and that's what I that's the creativity that I'm talking. But like. I love sport, <laughs> so I can do both sides. I'm tight at the niggas that can't do both sides. Got it. Y'all could be a Pusha T fan and still address be like, yo, I'm not gonna front. He lost round one because yeah. it wasn't his, like y'all could. But I y'all don't, don't want to do objective. that. I don't believe yeah, he lost round that, one. And I, I feel you. I don't believe he lost round one. That's crazy. I, like I feel you. Nothing says he lost round one to me. That's crazy. I think that Jim Jones, like, it's it's a fight now. Like he got punched in the mouth, but okay. I, that don't mean you won the round because you got a good hit. I think Jim Jones got a really good hit. I think he responded remarkably. Yeah, like, like you oh, said, the it's point here, here, here. Yeah. Like we, you and, both said and that. And boom! I right, now, now we here. Now it's time for push to respond. This is crazy. I would never think that it would be them two, but now it's showing up that this is like a, gonna be a good fight for like a, like a lot of reasons. I for me, it. I think I think it even goes deeper than that. I think even the affiliations kind of goes like deep. Like Jim Jones and well, Dipset, Rockefeller, Jay Z, all that, like they had their issues at some point too. You get what I'm saying? So I think that just adds another element: the fact that whether Jay Z knew or not, and if I'm being honest, I think Jay Z probably knew, right? I don't think Pusha T would put him in that space without Hove not knowing. Like this is probably about to come. You know what I'm saying? Like so. 
Dipset and Hove and Jay Z and Cameron and all of those guys, they weren't best of friends. They had they tension in their own buildings <laughs> between attention. their own camps, right? Yeah. Like seeing Cameron and Hove on the stage a few years ago, that, was, that was a big thing in New York because it was like, oh shit, these niggas ain't really fuck with each other like that. Yeah. So I think there's other elements that go into it too, where you got people who, let me not say they're pulling the strings, but I'm sure they, they're, they're paying close attention to it. I hear that. I'm sure they're paying close attention to I, it. I, I, and and I do want to also say, but again, it wasn't said in the music, but I'll give him a point for this because I didn't think about this. Jim Jones said, who's going to spin a block for you, right? And not on some street shit, but musically. Right. Who's going to who's gonna pull up for you and defend your honor or, or, or come? Is, is Hove going to get in this... This, this, you know what I'm saying? In, in this arena, yeah. is Pharrell gonna get in this arena with yeah, you? You got yeah. your brother, cool. Yeah. He been away. I feel like he Pharrell been... would not do that no, yeah. at, at all. He's he, he, he just well. passed that. You know, yeah. I don't believe any of those guys. Well, the yeah. Kanye affiliation is not there. Like, who are your alliances? Basically, is what I heard when Jim Jones said that, right? Yeah. And and it made me think about it as a Push fan. I started to think like, okay. So a lot of his alliances are with people who aren't in this space, like a Pharrell or a Hove, right? They're not gonna bring insert themselves into this um you know good music is no longer a thing so somebody like a big sean i don't see him coming caping for pusha t so it made me think about that too like right. he made a lot of valid valid points and i think he did a phenomenal job but again maybe it's my bias right the same way i accuse the new york people of being biased when it comes to to, to jim jones and dipset i gotta acknowledge my bias and yeah. being a fan of push now granted i'm not saying yo jimmy my man what up I'm not saying Jim's flow is the tightest on that. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, like Pusha T has a very good way of making this luxurious flow. You hear every single word he says. He accentuates on the word he wants you to pay attention to, mm -hmm. right? So I think maybe that's why some of that went, some of the Jim Jones lyrics went over some people's heads. But I do implore y'all to go to Genius and see what Jim Jones was saying and let's treat it for sport, you know? Again, mm -hmm. please leave what you feel in the comments. Mm -hmm. Um, this is heating up. I'm excited. Yo, Cameron is out here supporting Jimmy. I saw him make yeah, a post. That was, nice. that was super dope. It's, yeah. It feel like it's heating up. I love this energy. Yeah. And again, I still stand on uh, the plateau of this is different. This is good. This is different for Push. This is, it is. This I, is, I, it is I, different. I didn't think this it would turn different. into like song to song, like back Me, and forth. I, I thought it. it would just be like Jim Jones, like talking shit, talking shit. And then, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know it was going to be like I'm this. I'm so impressed. But I, it's entertaining. Am so, I am so impressed. I didn't think any of this. So yeah, we'll see what comes from this.